Hey, hey, what's really going on? Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at Cardano ADA. I'm going to be assessing some of these key technical aspects of price action moving forward. I'm going to be looking at some of the pivotal areas of support and resistance I believe we're going to be interacting with in the very near future here. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Do you trade? Do you hold? Or do you let the price action unfold? Uh, what are you doing with your bag? If you have one, you know, are you bullish on price action? Do you believe we've found support and we're likely to rally back above kind of one dollar interact with that multi dollar kind of euphoric swing highs there that we came from not too long ago? Uh, or are you bearish on price action? Do you believe support has yet to be found? We have more downside ahead of us. Are we plowing toward a dollar through a dollar, 50 cents, 25 cents, straight to zero? Um, you know, what are your thoughts on uh, kind of price action moving forward? Let me know in the comments down below where you think price action is likely to go. I uh, know. Jumping right into it uh, to kind of recap price action that has entered what appears to be a very aggressive phase of sideways. I do believe kind of ever since we found our way above a dollar, um, so out of that one dollar all the way up to kind of like two and a half dollars has been uh, very volatile, kind of like so far. Uh, we have price action uh, getting rejected off of this, I believe, key kind of like 94 cent level, uh, interacting with it as resistance uh, on the 10th of February, all the way kind of to um, on the 18th of February there, we have increased sell pressure coming off of this uh, 93 cent level. Uh, ultimately, the buy pressure was ever so abundant, and we found our way uh, above kind of 93 cents there to interact with it uh, from above as support. Uh, eventually, price action rallying toward uh, significant resistance present, I do believe, around one dollar and forty-seven cents. Uh, perhaps one dollar and fifty cents is kind of the psychological sort of round level near um, that kind of range. There, we have multiple rejections off of one dollar and forty-seven cents uh, over the course between kind of like the end of February into uh, the kind of like middle of April of uh, kind of this year. Here, we have price action getting rejected from one dollar and forty-seven cents, uh, sending price action plummeting kind of toward. Uh, 94 cents, but kind of like bottoming out and uh, consecutive sort of higher lows. Um, in this kind of great aggressive range of sideways, we have conflicting um, sort of buy and sell pressure here, causing a very aggressive range of sideways. Um, we do believe that uh, Cardano, there's been a very high demand for Cardano for um, kind of the past kind of few months here. Um, kind of fighting against some very high technical sell pressure. So I do believe bulls and bears have been uh, in battle with uh, kind of the direction of Cardano, Cardano for the past kind of like uh, kind of few months here. And um, the dollar range to kind of the dollar plus range there has been uh, kind of very volatile. And so re-entering this uh, kind of critical range of sideways that we have spent sort of what appears to be um, sort of a good like 74 days in before kind of breaking upward. Uh, could suggest that we perhaps have uh, you know some more phases of, of accumulation ahead of us as we've only been uh, we've only re-entered this range for a good 31 days we could very well have another perhaps a month of sideways uh, kind of between one dollar and 47 cents as resistance in addition to interaction with kind of uh, 94 cents and what appears to be like a dollar as um, kind of support moving forward um, now lots going on with Cardano against USDT what we consider Engineering Robo, along with the FIBA Zucchini Illuminati lines of bikinis, geometry, and zucchinis again. Uh, we can see uh, this new perspective coming into play here. We have uh, price action uh, interacting with us with this uh, appears to be pivotal 0.5 Fibonacci level at $1.24 um, is going to be uh, kind of bouncing price action between what appears to be the 200 daily moving average at this kind of point in time. Uh, we've been well above it for uh, quite some time now, suggesting some. Um, you know, very high overall fundamental buy pressure uh, present as price action is as above this uh, 200 daily moving average. Although I do believe since um, sort of the uh, sort of beginning of this year, uh, when we upon entering this range, we've interacted with some very, very high technical sell pressure. Um, but like I said, the fundamentals and the kind of like bullishness of Cardano has been uh, kind of keeping us uh, kind of very, you know, sideways um, kind of over the past kind of few months here. And so uh, price action. Uh, I do believe that we perhaps could be bearish enough to, um, you know, say we get significant resistance at the 0 0.5 there, we get slapped through the 200 daily moving average, uh, kind of waiting to catch us, I do believe is going to be uh, my 94 cent support level in addition to um, the 0 0.382 Fibonacci level at 95 cents. Um, so I do believe perhaps $1 to sort of like 94 cents is going to be a um, kind of like nice level to be accumulating uh, kind of before the uptrend continues as I do believe that might be a significant support moving forward. 
uh, like I said, resistance found at $1.24. Uh, once we get above there, we're going to experience some um, increased sell pressure, I believe, near $1.40. 47 cents uh, in addition to $1.53 at the uh, 0.618 Fibonacci level. Uh, that's going to be significant sell pressure present there. That's going to slap us kind of back toward perhaps uh, the 0.5 as support. Uh, once we get above that 0.618, we interact with uh, resistance present around $1.95. I guess uh, kind of $2 is going to be another psychological level that we're going to experience another kind of uh, retracement from. Um, so we do have a lot of kind of like points of uh, increased sell pressure present uh, before we can make our way past the uh, euphoric swing highs near kind of like two and a half dollars there almost. Uh, we're going to have a lot of kind of like pullbacks kind of like making our making our price action take a while. Um, now, what's going on for Cardano? I do believe a uh, new perspective comes into play though when we consider the Engineering Robo's Fear and Greed Index. This will give us a uh, kind of new perspective of this very increased um, sell pressure um, at the moment. The Fear and Greed Index is, is more used for um, investors and holders, long-term investors of Cardano. Um, so this ever so ever since we've entered the what appears to be FOMO zone on the middle of uh, kind of like February of 2021, actually the beginning of February, the like fifth. Uh, fourth and fifth, we entered the FOMO zone there, plowing into this range uh, where we experienced what appears to be very high FOMO. Um, so, you know, this is where very high technical sell pressure is present, although the fundamental buy pressure is kicking in, uh, you know, causing price action to be to move in a very volatile and conflicted manner, both up and down, um, you know, as price action, you know, is fighting against us, very high buy and sell pressure present. Uh, we've been in the FOMO zone for quite some time, all the way until uh, what appears to be the 10th of June since the beginning of February of this year. And so uh, we have finally find our way kind of like falling out of it and then retesting it as a potential resistance on the kind of 15th of, of June there. And we've been um, kind of rallying toward the 200 daily moving average ever since. I do believe perhaps exiting the FOMO zone is necessary uh, for the price action to continue upward. I do believe the trend is still rather bullish in my opinion and the overall demand for Cardano is quite high. Um, although we just got out of uh, what appears to be some very aggressive um, ex you know, technical sell pressure. And so perhaps um, you know, some more breathing room has just opened up for the uptrend uh, to continue. We'll have to see how we interact with this 200 daily moving average over the next kind of uh, coming days. Engineering Robo still bearish on price action against USDT. Lots going on for Cardano. Uh, now, a new perspective comes into play when we consider Cardano against Bitcoin. In addition to Engineering Robo, along with the FIBA Zucchini levels of Bugatti's Illuminati and Bugatti's again, uh, we can see now, this new perspective coming into play here. We have price action interacting with resistance present at the 0 0.786 Fettuccine line. Uh, we have resistance around 40.57 Satoshi, uh, sending price action plummeting toward my potential support level at 30.93 Satoshi. Uh, we have some more kind of like short-term hope at the 0 0.618 line to catch us at 32.81 Satoshi. Um, so I do believe uh, price action uh, is likely to perhaps find its way against the price of Bitcoin kind of like downward here uh, toward these kind of potential support lines. Uh, we have plenty of support present all the way until the uh, 200 daily moving average, which is going to be itself another kind of like uh, point of buy pressure and will um, you know help support the trend in the long term upward. Uh, we have the 0 0.5 Fettuccine level at 2731 Satoshi, currently just above the 200 daily moving average. If we are bearish enough to come all the way down there, uh, my most, most, most bearish target um, sub the 200 daily moving average is going to be um, interaction with the 0 0.382 Fibonacci level uh, near my kind of uh, support line at 2121 Satoshi to kind of like 2178 Satoshi, that 0 0.382 is going to be a kind of another level of critical support that we could very much be sort of like bearish enough to come down to. Uh, I can be more uh, short-term bullish if, if, we, if we bottom out kind of before then, say we start finding support near the 0 0.618, uh, we can be more bullish and suspect some more upside. Uh, price action could, could bottom out near my support at 3092 Satoshi and we could suspect some more upside. Um, stay, we say sideways to pull that 200 daily moving average all the way up to current price levels against the price of Bitcoin. That would be uh, kind of like very bullish for the trend in the uh, long term and would suggest there is, uh, you know, that's still fundamental buy pressure present for Cardano. Um, so there's definitely kind of lots going on with price action. We have Engineering Robo still technically bearish, suggesting some, uh, you know, some overall perhaps, you know, bearish bias at the moment. Perhaps some short term downside is present, um, although with price action above that 200 daily a moving average against Bitcoin and against USDT, uh, we can suspect that you know the uptrend to continue eventually here, and there is some uh, some very high buy pressure uh, still present for um, for Cardano. 
So now, lots going on. Uh, working on it at the moment. Lots of volatile price action up and down. Lots of FOMO, I believe, is still present, even though we've, we've exited the FOMO zone against the price of USDT. I do believe uh, FOMO is very much present. Price action, very volatile against Bitcoin. When we consider Bitcoin, uh, we can see this side of perspective coming to play here. We have price action, um, daily candles forming and what appears to be closing below this um, $32,000 level. I'm suggesting that we are perhaps confirming that level as resistance, which could send price action plummeting all the way into the kind of like high 20Ks there. We have the 0.382 Fibonacci level waiting to catch us at $27,000, kind of $100 per Bitcoin if we are slapped from 32K. Uh, price action in a very, very um, you know po uh, pivotal, volatile state. Uh, we're, among, we're among some critical levels here, some of the final kind of like I do believe buying points before a very dramatic move perhaps downward. If we, f uh, if we fail to find support at 32k and that becomes resistance, uh, like I said, I could slap price action into the 20ks there. We have the 0 0.382 at 27k. Uh, if that fails to hold, I do have a support level at 19k, just above the 0 0.236 Fibonacci level at 18k. Um, so there's definitely kind of plenty of room uh, for some downside here in the short term uh, for us to still be bullish in the long term, in my opinion. I do believe price action found in the 20Ks in the teens will be very bullish for the uptrend moving forward and would be uh, you know, a very nice time to be accumulating and what, uh, would be some, you know, some very bullish levels to be buying Bitcoin before the uh, you know, all-time highs and six figures that we uh, will inevitably reach. The 32K level is going to be very critical. So we find our way back above that. Say the buy pressure comes in, um, you know, say some whales manipulate Bitcoin back up, get above 32K there. We have the 0 0.5 Fibonacci level at 34K, you know, waiting to slap us around. That's That's been giving us a lot of trouble for the past kind of like for a few weeks we recently, and which is what um, sent us below 32K to begin with. Um, say we can, you know, plow our way through 34K, we have the 0 0.618 Fibonacci level at 41,500 waiting to slap us all the way back down to where we came from uh, once we start kind of like getting up to that level. In addition to the underside of this 200 daily moving average is going to be some very, very high sell pressure and we will likely experience a pullback upon contact with the underside of that moving average. We have entered in Robo still bearish since the uh, 12th of May of this year. So we have, um, you know, some very, uh, you know, good reasons to be short term bearish Some very high sell pressure is present. We're coming out of some very euphoric current all time highs. Engine and Robo is bearish. We have price action below the 200 daily moving average, which is going to be a very high bearish technical indicator. Um, you know, some very, you know, very strong reasons to be technically bearish, perhaps. Um, although I do believe the fundamentals of Bitcoin, the overall demand for Bitcoin at these levels, even the, you know, the whole time highs that we came from, you know, there's plenty of buy pressure still for Bitcoin. And I do believe the demand for Bitcoin is ever so high and we could, you know, find our way uh, experiencing some upside in the kind of like, you know, very short term here as, um, you know, the fundamentals, I do believe are still quite bullish long term. The uptrend is likely to continue. I do believe uh, six figures are approaching Perhaps, uh, though, some more short-term downside, some more, you know, short-term areas of accumulation, you know, some more times to buy in before six figures, I do believe, perhaps are necessary uh, kind of for the uptrend to continue. Now, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hearing my analysis. Try Engineering Robo free. Use the link in the description. Subscribe here on YouTube. Check out all the other social media down below. Let me know your thoughts on price action moving forward. Are you bullish on Bitcoin? Are you bullish on Cardano? Are you accumulating at these lows, at these levels? Do you think this is support? You know, we're likely to you know get to all-time highs plus, um, you know, very soon here. Or are you bearish on price action? Do you think there's tons more downside? Do you think this is the market top 60K, 64K is, you know, the top for Bitcoin and we're likely to head back into the teens, into the, you know, tens where we came from? from, you know, not too long ago, you know, what are your thoughts on the direction of price action moving forward? Thank you for tuning in and tune in for the next one.